You're watching Comedy Central at the Edinburgh Fringe. I'm Jamali Maddox. We're here bringing you 10, I said 10, sensational comedians, injecting that funny right in your veins. The act I'm about to introduce just had a sellout Edinburgh show. The critics were going crazy. I couldn't even get a ticket to the show and I know people, I'm Jamali Maddox. There's literally no stopping this girl. So we had to bring her down, make some noise for Joanne McNally. So I'm just back from Ireland, had to go home for the corona and I was back living in my mother's attic, which was a shitmare because I've only just moved out of the place. <laughs> I was back living in her attic because, well, I made some bad financial investments in Zara. So everything went into Zara and then I went back into the attic. I was living in my mother's attic for like three years and all the girls were calling me Joanne Frank every single time I left the house, which was super embarrassing. So I was like, right, it's time I got married, you know, because I need a house. So I've had to swap all my dating priorities from dick to brick. <laughs> now I don't care if he's impotent. I don't give a shit. I'll just fold it in. Do you know what I mean? I'll just fold it in like one of those foam fingers. Do you know those foam fingers? Do you know where I'm going to fold it in? I'll tell you. In one of the many rooms I now own for free. Because that's feminism. Think about it like that. That's modern feminism. Isn't that right? I like feminism, but it's very expansive. I don't find pain for shit empowering, not gonna lie. <laughs> Rich men are a waste of time. You think they're a great idea. They're not. Do you know why? Because it's not your cash, all right? It's still theirs. They're not shooting coins into you. That's not what that is. <laughs> I know. It's so disappointing, isn't it? If they're not shooting coins in, then why does it look like a purse? Someone explain that. I don't make the real. That's just Mother Nature. What sort of sick joke is that? I had a boyfriend. Uh, he liked it. He was useless anyway. Do you know the way they are? He never asked me anything about myself. He never went to my mother's 70th birthday, which was a huge affair in our house. She couldn't decide what she wanted to do for ages. And then eventually she decided and she was like, I know what I want to do for my 70th. And we were like, go on. And she was like, I want to go clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> and me and my brother were like, I fucking hope she means seals because <laughs> we would actually rather go and club a seal to death with her, it would be less embarrassing than bringing her into a club. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, he wouldn't go, my boyfriend wouldn't go. And he never asked me anything about myself. Like men don't really chat, you know? Like he used to go drinking with the lads and he'd come home and I'd be like, how are the lads? And he'd be like, what? <laughs> How are they? He's like, oh, I don't know. How do you not know? What do you talk about? He's like, nothing. I'm like, really? Because you've been gone for two days. <laughs> and you're telling me nothing was discussed. <laughs> nothing. They don't talk about nothing. They're mute. Whereas when I go drinking with my female friends, there is no information not exchanged. Women won't shut the fuck up. It's true, isn't it? I can't keep information in. I can't keep a secret. It gives me a UTI. That's what UTIs are. <laughs> They're trapped dirt. That's literally what they are. They're secrets that need to be released. They need to be urinated into the pub. Isn't that right? <laughs> That's why when I go drink with my female friends, every single sentence starts with, oh my God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell anyone what I'm about to tell you. Joanne, I'm serious. I could lose my job. <laughs> And you're going, oh my God, Carol, what is that? <laughs> Carol, you know it's going to be good. She's a bit of a slut. You're like, Carol, am I having an affair? She's like, Joanne, I need to trust you. You've betrayed me 16 <laughs> times. You've changed, Carol. <laughs> I'm a new woman, Carol. I'll take it to the grave. But the grave is actually the name of a WhatsApp group you've set up with you and all your friends who aren't Carol. <laughs> it goes straight in there. <laughs> <laughs> This man never asked me anything. Never asked me how I was, my ex, he was useless. Useless. The only time he ever asked me anything decent was during sex. Then they're full of questions, aren't they? His main question was, Juan. And I'd be like, yes. He'd be like, where do you want me to come? <laughs> <laughs> Ask him. <laughs> oh, it's so good to chat. Oh. This moment's about me. Embrace it, Joanne. Embrace it. He hasn't looked in the eye in years. I'm like, hey, where do I want you to come? Oh, that's so exciting. Uh, woo, so many options. Uh, woo, 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 woo. Um, 
not my eye again. That was actually incredibly <laughs> painful. Um, <laughs> oh, now I'd like you to come. My mother's 70th birthday, please. 